I think football is more of an individual sport, so it's very difficult to become a leader, you know, once you get into an NFL locker room. I think most of them don't understand or they cannot understand the concept of, of what it's like to serve and what are the things that you do. They don't realize that there are branches and different branches do different things. And you know, that concept was even new to me when I was in high school before I, I joined the military. Four years at West Point, you know, do very similar things. They, they, they explain you the rules, the philosophy behind uh, what it's like to be an Army officer and what it's like to be a leader. And then once you get onto the Army, you're supposed to go ahead and just execute that and, and, and instill those same values that you were taught at West Point. He's been a huge asset to the football team. It's been an honor and a thrill for me to coach him. Uh, I know I became a much better coach and a person because of my involvement with Al, just in how he's pushed me as a coach and as a person to be my best. I think that success beyond the uniform is dictated by the, your expectations and what is it that you consider success. And I think that when you don't have the uniform, you have to realize that things are not going to be as meaningful as they were when you're in the service because nothing is going to match the level of commitment, sacrifice, unity that you have in the military. And so you have to sort of redefine, you know, what is happiness, what is fulfillment, and what is it that you're trying to get out of life.